Hi friends, this is Carolyn Lang from carolynlang.com and I wanted to show you some of the benefits of using a Google Calendar. So this should be a pretty quick video. Um, the first thing you need to do is if you are not in Google Chrome, then you go to, you type in Google on your browser and then it should come up with the page and over here is the Google Apps. Here is your calendar. I already have mine open. This is the Google Calendar. And one of the things you can see is that there's different views. You can do it one day at a time, a week, a whole month. And then you can um, add calendars. So you can add different layers. You see here I've got my personal one with different activities just for me to worry about. We, I have one for our school, which we add in here and whoops, and click on that to toggle it on and off. There we go. So here we have the different activities for the school so you can keep track. You could create one calendar for a menu plan, let's say, or your household chores, um, the kids' activities for a sport. Uh, the other one I wanted to show you though that uh, focus on today is I have created you go here click here and then it's create new calendar but what I'm going to show is the business plan idea so if I click here oops I'm sorry here display only the business plan idea we'll go to January here where you see I've started to put in some different activities for my business plan uh, I do have a blog, and so what I want to do to become more consistent in, in uh, putting in content is to create a blog post every Monday. Um, so it's very easy to do that, and you can set it to be repeating. Uh, the time you can put in there, you can select a specific color so you know when you see it what it's for, and you can see here where it says business plan. Uh, that is, I have set for every Monday. And then on Tuesdays, I was going to syndicate the blog post to Facebook so that I take the same content and reuse it and put in uh, links on Facebook to that. I want to do that every week. So I will do that every week on Tuesday for five occurrences just put a five there and it changes here you see and then done and save and now give it a second there they go same thing with Facebook live on do a Facebook live on my blog post and then Thursday maybe an inspirational so we could do that um, inspirational post to social media and we will put that at say 10 o'clock 9 o'clock is when I usually start working so 9 o'clock repeat that weekly on Thursdays let's just put it for the time being for five occurrences and done and save and there it goes and the same thing for Friday so that way when you Put all your calendars turned on you can see all the different activities that are coming up and you can rearrange them that's the other nice thing about this particular program you can it say if oh, I'm going to have my root canal there so I can't do it at that time sorry back up so you can actually move this down and just change it around on your calendar so that's a very nice feature. You can um, you just click these and you can copy them, delete them. You see I have two, so I'll delete this one. So those are some of the nice features. The other nice feature I was going to talk to you about is over here in settings, you can actually have them send you notifications so that if you're working and in your um, supposed to move to a new activity, you can use browser notifications. Uh, you can set your times for only 15 minutes. 
or so forth. Um, under calendars, here's how you can edit the notifications that you receive from different calendars. You can actually share a calendar, like if you have a team calendar for your business, you can share it to other people and so forth. Labs is a, another fun one to try. You can hide morning and night. These are older activities that um, Google was testing and you can tell they've been there for a while, but they still work. So let's go back. The, the other thing I was going to show you, talk to you about is that these things, if you have a Google app on your phone, if it's an Android, you probably have Google um, calendars on your phone, but you can download a Google calendar app from the Play Store for your iPhone, and that's what I have. So then every morning I have it set that my day's activities, let's choose Tuesdays. So I will get an email with all of these things um, on my, you can get an email. You can also just go to the app on your phone and you can see this in this particular format. Um, so that you can keep track of it no matter where you are so because it syncs to each other. So that was the Google Calendar. The other thing I wanted to show you, which I just learned about, which is called Trello. Trello is a very neat way of having all of your activities um, by on a weekly day-to-day -day basis. Trello is, uh, you can get a free version. That's kind of nice. Um, but what we, what I did was I got this from uh, another lady, um, Lisa Torres, and she had taken the idea of the Google Calendar business plan and put it on Trello. So on every, she's got um, Monday, every day she has a board. So let's go down here and we'll create a new board because I don't have Sunday. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'll t entitle it Sunday. The board is private and I create it. So now I have a Sunday board. Okay. So if I go back, that's how easy it is. So now they're listed over here in my personal boards. So on Monday, what I did was I created a list here. See here, this ad list, I created a list called content or platform. And then I created a card with this feature. And then I put in the topic of what I want to write, um, photo with long story, um, my goal to get all Monday into the completed Instagram photo with long story with a call to action to text the leads to a phone number or my Google voice. And then there's an in progress list and a completed list. And so what we do is as I'm working on this, let's say I got the Facebook photo with the long story and I can um, do all kinds of information with it, but I can drag, excuse me. So you can click it and move it to the in. Okay. I'll do it this way. Move it to um, the other list and um, just be able to, there we go, move it to the list as being in progress. So this is what I'm working on. And when this is done, I move it to completed. So you want to get all your cards from here over to here. So Tuesdays, let me find my Tuesday plan. Tuesday, I have the content platform and add a card. So Tuesday, I, I had talked about syndicating it change this. Um, add a card. Let's do a syndicate blog post to Facebook. And we add. Okay. And then um, maybe I want to map out next blog post. So there you see it's very easy to do that one. And so on, I believe it's Wednesday. There's Wednesday. Got it. Wednesday. Okay, so here's my list. Content. 
and the platform I want to use it on. We'll save that. We can do another list in progress. Save that. And the other list completed. Save that. So that is a very easy way to map out your business plan. So I hope that helped you out. Um, as I learn new things, I'll be more than happy to share them with you. And you can check out my post at carolynline.com or find me on Facebook. Thanks and have a great day.